normal vaccination schedule that your baby follows is usually planned. But when your doctor tells you that there are new vaccines in the market that you can choose to give your baby, it leaves you confused. Instead of getting confused and worried about what's best for your child, watch this video to find out more and to make the right choice. There are a number of vaccines that your baby must take, but are some that are optional. Here's a comprehensive list of some of the optional vaccines for your baby. The vaccine confers protections against mumps, measles, and rubella. There is some controversy surrounding this vaccine linking it to autism and inflammatory bowel disease. However, a study by the World Health Organization has concluded that there is no evidence linking the vaccine to these conditions. The child may have slight fever and rash 7 to 10 days after the injection. Added to the Universal Immunization Program in India more recently, the vaccine confers immunity against Hepatitis B. Hepatitis is a viral infection affecting the liver, leading to jaundice and other complications in the liver. At birth, if the mother is positive for Hepatitis B, the baby needs to be vaccinated within 12 hours of birth. For preventing cervical cancers, these vaccines can be given to girls at 10 years of age. However, there has been a debate in recent times regarding usage of the same. Consult your pediatrician. Find the pros and cons of the vaccine. For preventing meningitis, infection in the brain caused due to Haemophilus B influenza virus. For preventing the bacterial infection called typhoid spread through food or drink contaminated by urine or feces of an infected person. Starting with fever, headache, diarrhea, or constipation, rose spots on the chest, it can lead to an enlarged spleen and liver. For preventing pneumococcal meningitis affecting the brain of children or pneumonia. Since the cost of the vaccine is quite high, a single dose costs as much as 4,000 rupees, most parents do not offer this vaccine. Even as an injection, this is the inactivated form of the virus, unlike the oral one which has a live attenuated virus, it confers nasal and throat immunity to the virus. Recommended by the World Health Organization, it prevents rotavirus infection which causes severe diarrhea and dehydration in children. prevents flu or infection of the respiratory system. The vaccine holds good for a period of one year only as the constitution of the vaccine is changed every year as for the kind of flu virus prevalent at that time. Found our information useful? If you find the video helped you, please like it. Tell us what you think about our videos. Please leave a comment. To watch our other videos, click here. For more on your health, log on to healthstarindia.com.